So, so for the past twenty years, I've been helping Malaysian and other Southeast Asians to speak better English, and through training thousands of Southeast Asian, I discovered a very surprising truth. I discovered that how well somebody communicates in English actually have a very little to do with their English level. It has a lot to do with their attitude towards English. There are people out there who has a very very low level of English and they can communicate very very well. One of them that I remember a student, a participant of my name Faisal. He was a factory supervisor. English level very very low, but this guy could just sit and listen to anybody very calmly, clearly, and he could respond absolutely, express his thoughts beautifully. A very low level of English. So today I want to share with you what is so different about people like Faisal. How do they do it? And second of all. Why is this so important not only to you but to your children, to your community, and to your future of Malaysia? And third of all, what's one thing you can do starting today if you want to speak with calm, clear confidence that people Faisal has? So first of all, what is so different? How people like Faisal do it? To answer that question. I'm going to take you to back ten years. Okay, I was training staff at the time, and my daughter at that time was taking piano lessons. I started to notice two really strong similarities between my daughter's attitude or thinking toward playing the piano, and a lot of Malaysians thinking or attitude toward English. First of all, I should tell you, my daughter absolutely hates the piano. Hates the lesson, has the practicing. This is my daughter practicing piano. Okay, this is good as it got. 